Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are starting the vlog. We are at Iron Furnace. That's an iron furnace behind us. We're getting ready to go into the woods for our weekend backpacking trip. There's the porta potty. And let me get you a better view. Here we go. We're going up there. All right, let's First go. hole I fell in. <laughs> <laughs> Soaking wet. Jen, are you okay to be on camera? Yep. Did you save me? I did. Without taking a picture first? I did, but I left. Good job, friend. Yes, my, foot, my foot's wet. Her foot's are wet. My foot's are wet. My buttocks is wet. Okay, here Bye. we go. Waterfall. So, the next point we should be coming to is... Okay. Down. Yeah, you're way up. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I hope you can see how magical this is. Oh, I look at the running water. Is that gonna be like a beaver dam? I don't know. Or just fallen. Oh. oh my goodness. Froggy. Here, Froggy. Here, Do you froggy. see the Froggy? He went a court and he did ride. Oh, there he goes. He doesn't want to go. Oh, how many miles in are we? Uh, three. Three miles in. And we're just going to take a little stroll down the lane for our five mile day, four mile day. Some, mi five miles. some miles day. Yep. We'll see you when we get there. We made it to the bottom of the hill and look at the butterflies. <laughs> I don't want them to fly away, but. Look at them, they're so pretty. We made it to the road and we just climbed down that. You can't see, but it's a hill. Water and the little butterflies. Oh, falling. Nice. I made it. Four miles. Oh. So now I'm laying here, chilling, relaxing, and then we're going to set up camp and I will show you setting up camp. There's our campsite. We saw our first snake over there. Ugh. I'm not a snake fan, period. We're looking for firewood. And this is what we climbed up. You can't really see it, but way down there's the road. The last tenth of a mile or so was killer, killer. But this is where we're making camp for the night. All sweaty and whatnot. And we're not going into the woods anymore to look for wood because there's snakes now. Oh, helicopter coming overhead. It's going to rain tonight.
Mm -hmm. Here's our tent. We'll video on the inside too. That's where we're sleeping. There's the latrine where we're gonna keep our bags because it's gonna rain tonight. And then we hung our food up in a tree. That's called a bear bag hang. Keeps your food safe from all the critters. And our hiking poles. And we're gonna make fire soon. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Fire. And here's the fireplace. And I'm charging. And <laughs> I'll give you a recap in a minute. And this is how you keep the bugs away. We made it to camp. What time is it? Seven. It's seven o'clock, which means it's almost bedtime. We have a fire going. We might, we walked four miles today. The last 10th of a mile was the worst. It was all uphill and we saw a snake. Jen saw a snake. Cobra. Cobra. It was like killer snake. That was probably a foot long, but it, here comes rain. And now it's starting to rain. But we're enjoying our time and we had a good dinner and I showed you how I made that. And we're gonna get in our tent shortly. Yes, and my bag just fell. So we're gonna stick it in the bathroom is what we're gonna do. All right, I'll talk to you in the morning. Well, we got a lot of rain last night and had to cut our trip short. Look at all the flooding. But we still walked four miles today. Hi guys, I'm home. It is Sunday. I've been home for a few days, just kind of resting and relaxing. And I wanted to give you a recap of my camping and backpacking trip. So, and I probably said some of this earlier, but I don't exactly remember, so we'll just do a little by-play. We went in Thursday morning, we got there at eight, took off about 8.15 and we hiked in and up four miles. We gained 1,850 feet of elevation on that day and it took us five hours. Now, this is our first time out in a couple years and you know, we've got the COVID sloth, we'll call it. But it was a fantastic day. You'll see that you have seen the video. It was beautiful. Now we knew it was gonna rain. We knew that was a chance, but we didn't obviously know how much or what was going to happen. So we decided to chance it. The original plan was to spend two nights and hike for three days. So we were going to do four miles, four and a half miles, and then two miles out. That was the plan. Um, so spending two nights and two, two and a half days or whatever. So we got to camp at about 1.30 and we were boot pooped, but we had water. There was a latrine, like an outdoor pot toilet and a campsite. So we set up camp. We got fresh water. We ate lunch because we didn't do that. And then we started looking for firewood and saw a snake. And then we said no more firewood. And um, yeah, we had dinner. We had fire. We get in bed and pretty early because we were tired. And I would say around 10, 10 30, the booms came and the storm started. Well, apparently we didn't set up our tent right or it had a leak because we ended up getting soaked. There was a puddle about an inch thick under my mattress when I woke up that next morning and it was pouring rain. So what we did the night before smartly, we hung our food in a tree like you're supposed to, but then we took our backpacks into the latrine and put them in their rain covers and left them in there to, and they stayed perfectly dry overnight because the tent is small, there wasn't room for both of us and our backpacks. So that's the first thing that's gonna happen is I'm buying a second backpack so we have room in each of our tents for our own backpacks. So we'll do that. We got up, we packed in the rain and I mean torrential rain, we were sopping wet, got our packs on and decided that, this cat is trying to get in a bag, decided that it was not going to be safe to take the trail back out that we came in on or go the other direction. Um, and it was a really good decision on our part. We were up at the top of the mountain camping and 
when we were walking down on the road, so there's like a service road, so there's no water that's safe to drink in this forest. You can't like filter water because there's too many iron and hard minerals. And so they bring water into a cistern with a pump. And um, so they have roads that kind of, you know, get you in that plus for safety. So we were on the road on the way out and what the streams that we had crossed the day before were raging. I mean, I would say small rivers, they were not safe to cross. So we made the right decision to walk the four miles out on the road, which was still gravel and dirt and up and down, but we were much safer than trying to slide down clay and mountains. So we ended up at one point had to walk through a raging water source. It was up to my shin that had covered the road, got to the car, we drove home and everything was fun and perfectly fine. We'll go out again. This time we'll pay a little closer attention. Well, you know, the weather, I say that, but you don't know. Storms pop up and like we can only get the weather for the towns around it. When you're up on a mountain, things are different. So, but anyway, it was a fantastic trip. I have a list of things I want to change from my packing gear of years ago. One being picking up a tent, which I'm going to order. And um, I'm going to look for a lighter backpack. My backpack alone weighs four pounds. So I'm trying to lighten my load for the next time out just to make things a little easier. I mean, I will always carry two liters of water and that's four pounds right out of the gate is two liters of water plus food and clothing. So the idea is to get my tent and my sleeping system and my backpack as light as possible. So first things first, I'm gonna order a new tent. I have my sleeping bag, which I think is pretty well, pretty good. And then I'll look for a lighter backpack. Cause we're definitely gonna do this again. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, peek into my backpacking adventure. I didn't take a whole lot of video because we were doing a lot of huff and puffing and hiking up the hill. But we did have a wonderful time. All right, everybody. I hope you have a good one. And I will talk with you later. Bye.